My name is Chris Smith. I am the fire chief for the city of West Columbia. And as the fire chief, I get the uh, great privilege of being the leader of 25 of the greatest um, men and women that uh, dedicate their lives to protecting the property and the citizens and the visitors from uh, in, inside the city. The, uh, these men and women train very hard every day uh, that they're on shift. They're all career uh, uh, members, no volunteers, and they um, work a 24-hour shift. They're all 48, so every third day we have a new, I mean every day a new crew comes in and they're there for 24 hours. We provide fire protection uh, to the city along with uh, providing uh, medical um, service for uh, emergency uh, first responder and, and um, a lot of times we, we're there uh, several minutes uh, before EMS to provide that life-saving service. Uh, we've had uh, a, a number of saves over the last two years uh, that uh, you know it was recorded that the uh, citizen was in cardiac arrest and actually walked away from the hospital and, and a lot of that was uh, contributed to early CPR provided by our firefighters. In 1983, the only service that was offered by the West Columbia Fire Department was fire protection. Since that time, we've added medical and rescue um, to the citizens along with river rescue. 2017, the fire department answered roughly 1,800 calls. Of those 1,800 calls, 62% were medical. Having a smaller rescue truck that can respond quicker to the calls uh, would help us essentially save more lives uh, and keep up the um, uh, tradition or the, the history we've had with saving lives. Adding the two additional personnel, two firefighters in that smaller rescue truck uh, would potentially save more lives.